Okay, now read with me John 5, 22. This is their own Bible. You're using their own Bible to prove your case so they can't deny the facts. Notice what our Lord Jesus says. For the Father judges no one at all. Man, I love the way they translate this. The Father judges no one at all, but he has entrusted all the judging to the Son. Let me repeat, your own Bible. The Father judges no one at all, Jehovah Witness, but has entrusted all the judging to the Son. So ask them to make sure they repeat what they just read and they've understood it. Will the Father judge anyone on the day of judgment? No. Who's going to be doing all the judging? The Son. You sure? You agree the Son will be doing all the judging? They have to say yes, right? Are you getting it? Who's going to come to judge the world? The Son. Is the Father judging anyone? No. The Son is. All right. So the Son is coming to judge, right? Yes. Now go to Matthew 16, 27 in their own Bible. Watch here, guys. If you learn these arguments, I promise you, no one will be able to refute the irrefutable proclamation of God's word, the Holy Bible, that God is triune. Jesus is Jehovah God Almighty in the flesh, the God man. I promise you, I'm not lying. They won't be able to refute you because you have the truth. You have the true God. By the Holy Spirit, you know who the true God is. He's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Now, Matthew 16, 27. Read with me, guys. For the Son of Man is to come in the glory of his Father. No doubt this is Jesus speaking as the Son of Man. Why? Because he says God is his Father. The Son of Man has God as Father. Son of Man coming, and this is Jesus speaking. The Son of Man is to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. To do what? And then he will repay who? The Son of Man, who's the Son of God, God being his Father. Who? The Son of Man. And then he will repay each one according to his behavior. Again, is it crystal clear? Jesus is speaking as the Son of Man who will come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And what will Jesus do when he comes? Repay each one according to his behavior. Make sure they see that too. Jesus does all the judging. The Father judges no one. Jesus is the Son of Man, who's the Son of God, who's coming with his angels, with his reward, to repay everyone according to his behavior. Make sure they get it, folks. Don't let them run away and squirm. Now go to Revelation 22, verse 20. The one who bears witness of these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. Okay, make sure they get this. I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. So you ask them, who's speaking? Who just said to John, I am coming quickly? It's Jesus. How do we know? Because John responds, amen. Remember what I said amen means? So be it. So shall it be. Yes, you are coming. And I have no doubt. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. So is it clear Jesus is the one speaking, saying, I am coming quickly. Is it clear it's Jesus? Are you reading it? Make sure they get it. If you don't get it, you can't help them get it. Is it also clear according to John 5, 22, that Jesus said, the Father judges no one at all, but has entrusted all the judging to the Son, so the Son is coming to do all the judging? Yes. Is it clear that Jesus also said in Matthew 16, 27, he is the Son of Man who will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will repay everyone according to their behavior. Yes. All right. Now read Revelation 22, 12. Look, I am coming quickly. Well, in verse 20, that was Jesus. You can't get around the fact it's Jesus who in Revelation 22 said he's coming quickly. Can't escape it. Now watch. Look, I am coming quickly. And the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. Just in case you missed it, do me a favor, Ahmed. Post Matthew 16, 27, back to back with Revelation 22, 12. Post Matthew 16, 27, then Revelation 22, 12. 
You see how slow and methodical I'm going? So it becomes second nature and you absorb it fully by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because once you learn these arguments, irrefutable. Matthew 16, 27. For the Son of Man is to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he'll repay each one according to his behavior. Notice Revelation 22, 12. Look, I'm coming quickly, and the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. Is there any doubt that the same speaker, Revelation 22, 12, is the same one speaking in Matthew 16, 27? Jesus, because it's Jesus, the Son of Man, the Son of God, who's coming with his angels to repay each one according to his behavior. So then in Revelation 22, 12, it is Jesus who says, look, I am coming quickly. And the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. Any doubt? Now, again, just in case you're doubting, Ahmed post Revelation 22, 20. See, I'm like building up to the climax where you're going to shout with praise. Revelation 22, 20. Revelation 22, 20. The one who bears witness of these things says, yes, I'm coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Revelation 22, 20. I am coming quickly. Amen. So shall it be. Come, Lord Jesus. Now, verse 12. Look, <clears throat> I'm coming quickly. And the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. No doubt it's Jesus. Especially in the same chapter when the one who says, I'm coming quickly, is later said to be Jesus Christ. Now, why am I taking so long and dragging it out to bore you to tears? So it sinks in and never escapes your memory. Now, let's see. Revelation 22, 12, and 13. Now is where you're going to get blown away. Revelation 22, 12 to 13. The speaker says, look, I'm coming quickly. And the reward I give is with me. To repay each one according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. Game over. Jesus is the RK. And the Telos. The Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. Game over. Jesus just said. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. How in the world could these perverts... These satanic perverts take Revelation 3.14, where Jesus is said to be RK to prove he's the first one created, and ignore what RK means in relation to Jesus in the rest of Revelation. If Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, RK, and the end, the first and last, Titles used by the true God, Jehovah, in Revelation 21, 6 to 7. Titles that point to Jehovah being uncreated, timeless, beginningless, the Lord of time, the Lord of history, the Lord of creation, who's in control of time. For Jesus to then claim those very titles means that Jesus just claimed to be beginningless, uncreated, timeless, the Lord of time, the creator of time. The Lord who's in control of time. That means Jesus just claimed to be beginningless, uncreated, timeless. The Lord over time. The creator of time. The one who's sovereign over time. And therefore, he's almighty. Arianism is over. Unitarianism is decimated. Islam is buried and destroyed. Trinitarianism is true.